these are the flowers I'll be cutting to decorate the third box what I did for that was basically take a white cardstock and then cut out the flower and first I wet the sheet softens it up and gives it a nice texture and then I took my watercolor brush and the watercolor paint which I had to closely match this I think I used quinacridone magenta or alizarin crimson also I painted the two layers I didn't use the third one I just took two layers like this once it has dried what I did was just take any needle or anything this is from creative memory so you just use the small thing quilling needle or anything to just roll it a bit like this just keep it in the center and just give some dimension to it you need not have everything down in the middle just just a little bit this side and some you can also furl it this way instead see you can, it gives a nice dimension just observe a real flower and once you have both you can just take one on each one just at an angle don't line up the petals but do it like this and if you have the pearls you can just take one out and put it in between so if you just want a white flower that's fine too and you will get a flower which matches up perfectly this is the third box this will be the one which will assemble after I finish showing you the file I have left it hanging out and we do need to trim the handles a little bit and let's go to the fifth page and I've given two options this is from the lustra cartridge in case you're downloading the file and you do not have this cartridge just tap on that it's selected group together and delete only this image because this is not from that that cartridge so you can use the site for those of you who do not have that cartridge I've given you another option in page six let me preview it does take a while because it has some complicated welding what I did was you cannot weld inside a solid shape figure in George and plantain and even gypsy wanderings and you can weld inside a frame but when I tried to increase the frame this width was too thick for me so what I did was I did it in different pieces so here is one piece here is a second piece here is a third piece and this is the blackout to get this effect get these three pieces together and you'll never know you can just add it on like that and then this one on this side goes exactly where that frame is so you can not make out that this is separate piece and of course the blackout version is here so we can put pop dots here pop it up here and then use small pearls and get the same effect as this one one last thing before we go and start assembling is to resize I have tried to group it all together so when you click you, you can see that everything turns blue so it's grouped together and since here it's so complicated the welding is so complicated if it goes off or if you want to move it around and you feel that's not the optimum place what I would suggest is instead of pressing ungrouped directly don't do that because getting it back exactly the same way because of the order in which you have to weld and in each weld checking whether that's the effect you want so what you do is press on the group button and use your judgment and the easiest thing which can ungroup is just these two so what I'll do is press on the group button and then just press on these two here see first it turns blue that means everything is selected then I tap only on that can you see that it turned red so that one has been ungrouped so this is how you ungroup just one or two pieces instead of pressing ungroup or the whole thing and then struggle to group it again and then I'll press on this small flow dealers and now that has been ungrouped and not among this set so you can see the if you, are, if you zoom you can also see a selection box only around that group so to get out of the group mode I can press any of these buttons to get out I can also press the group button once more 
and it will turn back white instead of yellow so that means it has been ungrouped so I click out and to group just this back again I'll just tap on group and now and select both and then always better to check press preview and because this is a complicated building it does take a while for it to come to the preview mode now you can see that this is welded right and that is welded right and if I take out the preview you can see only this is in a group and if I tap on this that is in a group I do not want it that way I want to, re to be able to resize so what I'll do now is when that is selected still I will press on group then group this and it will select this group plus that group and group it together I'll tap out and press on group once again Okay, let's get this baby on the road. First, I'll finish coloring this up because it'll take some time to dry. So I'm just abstractly wetting it. Doesn't matter as long as it's nice and wet. And then grab a hint of yellow. If you have cadmium yellow, the yellow, let it be a little bit light because we want the pink to show too much but we don't want it too pink we wanted a color what we call blush then i will take a lizard crimson any red which has blue in it not a red which has orange in it same way when you take a yellow choose a yellow which has orange in it that's the shade which will mix well and remember it can go a little bit dark because watercolor always dries lighter like two values lighter so now I have this nice and wet so if I think it's too pink you can always go back with a little more yellow you don't need to be exact because you want to have that sort of tie and dye effect allow it to mix on its own mix it too much colors you will get mud so that's a watercolor tip for you now we'll set this aside to dry <laughs> 